and welcome back to the channel and I do apologize for the dog barking in the background that is the uh, uh, backyard that's uh, behind our condo which is on a second level so I can see into their backyard and I know it's the dogs in their backyard so yeah if they're just constantly barking I am truly sorry for that but anyway, today we're going to be talking about how to train your dog at home. And most people can't afford dog training and that is why um, they have problems with their dogs. Well today let's talk about how you can do that on your own time. And treats aren't expensive and that's basically all you need, other than your own time. Which uh, depends on the person, but that's free. <laughs> Uh, okay, so my name is Aquari Doyle. My purpose here on YouTube is to provide educational animal related videos so that way me and my team can open up our very own animal rescue center here in the near future. So if you're interested in that animal loving journey, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications that way you're notified by every single video that we post, which is usually every single day. Be sure to check the description down below for all the research that I have for this video as well as the Humane Society events page that is only virtual for right now and um, I also have donation links below that in the description of every single video so that way you can donate to animal related organizations down below if you're interested. So now let's get into this video. It depends on the type of training that you're interested in going for um because i'm only gonna cover a few ways where you can like teach your dog certain things that if you like watch a movie with a dog that's trained they would know and like it's hard to explain but you need to focus on what do you want to train your dog to do and this can go along with well what is the problem right now i'm so sorry about the dog i should just close the window quiets down a little bit but but like are you why are you training your dog or wanting to train your dog or do you want to just do it for fun and you want to do your have your dog do certain tasks there are so many ways to train your dog especially puppy training because that is when they're the most young and, and susceptible to actually learning the training because they are so young and if you repeat it a bunch of times they're just going to grow up knowing that's the regular thing to do if you want to train your dog, I tried to avoid putting the puppy in this video because it is a dog. Uh, we're going to assume that this is an older dog, not a puppy anymore because puppy training is different than dog training. Obviously, I already did cover that the earlier on you start your training, the better, like a puppy or um, maybe right after their puppy stages, but it honestly doesn't matter. Um, the only thing that you actually need is time. You need to spend time with the animal in order to actually succeed within the training. So here are the different types of training that I found. Crate training, house training, uh, potty training, leash training, etc. Um, a few of those trainings, yes, those are when they are puppies because house training, you can do when they're a puppy. Because uh, the older they get, the more they're like, well, this is the normal thing. Why would I want to switch over? It's going to take more time and dedication rather than a puppy because, like I said, puppies are more susceptible to the idea of training because then they can grow up getting used to what you train them to think. Leash training. Leash training is not as hard as you think. Um, you just have to dedicate more time to it. Th this video, it's going to come a trend in this video. You need time to do this. Most dogs, I'm not going to say most, some dogs are better at understanding training than others. So yes, time can be different for some dogs and other dogs, but you have to have patience as well. Dogs are kind of like children. You need to have the patience and time to give that dog in order for them to successfully learn and I feel like that's the best example that I can give. What do you want out of the training? Um, what is something that you don't like your dogs doing? For example, let's say that they chew on everything and you don't want that and you're not really sure how to 
stop them from doing that because all the things that you're saying like no don't do that isn't working um that could be an example like figure out what you don't like what your dog does if you cannot figure out something that you don't personally like that your dog does um, and you just want to be curious and be like, well, maybe I want my dog to learn how to sit and little things like that. Um, yeah, that's your example. That's your thing to go for when you're looking at things like this. So I have about three easy commands that I can teach you how to do based on websites that I have found. So let's go over an easy command, which is sit, teaching them how to sit. So first, you hold the treat to the dog's nose, allowing them to smell the treat and they are aware that it is there. Now take away the treat from the nose, don't allow them to eat it, place it in your hand, and move it up above them, allowing them to look up. And if they look up, some dogs might actually sit down. And when they sit, you wanna be specific and say, sit. That way, when, they're on the, when their bottom is placed on the ground and they're sitting, they know that that is what you intend for them to do when you're holding the treat above their head. So if they actually sit and you say sit, you give them a treat as a reward. Now, if they don't do this, if they don't sit, um, you want to just kind of repeat that and just keep on trying to do it until it actually happens. Uh, it's, it's for some dogs like I said before it's gonna take take more time for other dogs it's not so it just depends on the dog so that is one easy command that you can teach that dog how to do um, and then another really good thing that I found oh by the way that command that's from uh, caesarsway.com I have that link down below if you're interested in more detailed steps um, but this next thing that I found on pets webmd.com uh, you want to reward behavior that you like and other behavior that you are not supporting do not reward if the dog is doing something that you personally don't like and you're trying to train them uh, why would you reward them for behavior that you're not really appreciating them doing so if your dog's doing something that you're not really appreciating them doing um, it is also wise to not hit or physically touch the dog in the wrong way when there is something that that dog did that you don't like because that is technically animal abuse so please do not hit your dogs as punishment that's animal abuse please please do not do that highly discouraged uh, another thing that you can learn is teach them how to come when you pick out the dog's name, you want to make sure it's something that they actually will be able to come to you when you say their name, if that makes any sense. So something short, um, even if the dog's name isn't really short, you can make a nickname and you want it to be short so that way they know that you're talking about them when you want them to come to you. Whenever I had a dog in my childhood, because I currently don't really have one now, I'm not allowed to have one in the uh, apartment complex, we usually train them in a way where we would just repeat the dog's name in a high-pitched voice, as if you're baby talking. And eventually throughout time, uh, you normalize your normal voice calling the dog. So that way, no matter what voice you're using, the dog will come. Not, you don't always have to use the baby talking high pitched voice in order for the dog to come to you. And it's obviously easier to teach them at a younger age, but I feel as if you can teach them at any age. Um, but I feel as if when you call the dog one name throughout the whole, their whole life, or just half of it or however much time, they're gonna get used to it anyway if you use it enough. If you make nicknames for the dog a bunch, like so many different nicknames, they're not gonna really know what their name is and how you're calling them. Um, and they're only gonna come to you because you're speaking in a high-pitched squeaky voice, if that makes any sense at all. So the next one is, uh, I got this one from shopis.furbo.com. That is linked down below as well. 
and this is teaching your dog how to stay. So this is the step that you want to take after you teach your dog how to sit because that is the important step on how to start off this command. You want to be sure that the dog is sitting before you even start teaching the dog this command. So you want to say sit and if they learn that command they will sit in your command so once they sit you want to give them a treat obviously because that's a command so after they're sitting this is going to get kind of repetitive but you want to step away with an open palm with a treat and you want to say sit if they don't sit and they just go towards you say uh, a discouraging word and usually you want to say no and um, if the dog doesn't recognize what no means, say it in a lower tone, not more aggressive, just say no, if that pertains to you. Um, dogs don't really like lower tones, they like higher pitch tones, that's what gets them more attention. Think of it more as like a squeaky toy, because they like squeaky toys. If you have a lower tone and it's loud, um, some, some uh, will be like, whoa, what was that? And get their attention a little bit more. Um, so if the dog waits, when you say sit and you walk away, reward them with a treat. And um, keep on repeating that as the farther you get away from the dog. So a, an example of this, um, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> That way it's easier for me. So, let's say the dog is right here. And I have the treat in my hand. And I say, sit. That is an, a, a command, so I'll give him a treat. So I have another treat in my hand. Now I walk back two steps or so. And I say, stay. Let's say they stay and I give them a treat because they stayed, okay? So now we're gonna say stay and we walk back four feet. And if they don't come, give them a treat. And it's more repetitive like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All these commands revolve around treats. Okay, so the last command that I can teach you, which like I said at the beginning of the video, I only have three commands because I didn't want to make this video long. Plus, I don't know what people actually want to train their dog for. There's so many things out there that you can train on. So, I only did three commands. So this uh, command I found at couponchief.com and it's teaching your dog how to lie down. So when you want your dog to lie down, you want to hold the treat fist closed and you want to say, sit. Show them the treat with the fist and allow them to smell the treat knowing that it's there. And when you're le letting them smell your hand, be sure to lower it to the floor and hopefully their nose will follow the treat down to the floor and in the end, your dog will be laying down on the floor. And once your dog is laying down on the floor, you give them a treat because they have completed the command. Now with all of these commands, you want to be sure to do this more than just one time because yes, it's great to have them do it once, but it's not like they're going to learn anything by just doing it one time. Just keep on teaching them how to do it until it just becomes natural for them. And you'll know that by if you just say the command. If you say sit or if you say lie down and they do the command, they already know it. So that's how you know. So yeah, that's pretty much the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was pretty like more of a general video rather than very specific, but if you're interested in specific topics for dog training, let me know and I can definitely look into that. But for right now, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.